Welcome back to the Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with the weekly news and review for August 29th, 2021. 2021, the Tidarium Hangar has had such a wild week this past week. I guess I offended some people with some facts. I did lose some subscribers, but guess what? We have the 11K sub special coming up soon, so get your pictures in. We have a lot of fun information this week from multiple has labs coming up one is going on right now i'll give you my thoughts on both we've got news for transformers star wars turtles joe coming up first up i want to talk about what's new at show z and what's new at show z is a whole second site let me tell you about this Gundam it is a second site created by the showzstore.com team. Showz Store is more like a transformer focused store, so we want to create a new site, especially for action figures, model kits, tools, and other toys. You can log into Gundam it via your showzstore.com account and vice versa. If you set up a, a Gundam it account, you can go to Showz. But right now, you can go order anything off this site, get 2% off if you're a regular member, 7% off for premium members. And it's more focused on action figures, but uh, is there another way to say Gundam It? I think it's a play on words. It's, it's Gundam It, Gundam It. There might be some other <laughs> funny way to say it. So there's these really cool 52 Toys Mega Box, Raphael, Michelangelo, if you're into turtles at all these are actually going to be about 5.12 inches tall comes with a figure weapon and a container and it transforms into guess what a box for 37 bucks these things are interesting 37 dollars each and right now they only have a michelangelo and raphael up for order there's also this zeta toys Budokan with a metal chest so it's a metal chest version and it's the full set of five. It is $400 with a $20 down deposit. I really do think that this is a decent combiner. And right now, I, I feel it's the best one on the market. And I don't think anybody else is making one. MMC made one also. It's smaller, but it's all in one gimmick. And this uses the parts forming. So it's kind of like, do you want the parts forming? Do you want the metal chest? And with a metal chest, it is 100% fully painted. Did you miss out on Magic Square's Minasaur? Did you think Magic Square's Minasaur was too small and too expensive? Well, guess what? We got the BW001 Beat Back and Collide Breakdown and Wild Rider set of two. The cool thing about this is this is 37 bucks. You get both of the figures and that is, I don't know, about two thirds of the Magic Square price for a couple, maybe an inch bigger. I don't know exactly. These are 4.33 inches tall, so maybe uh, half an inch bigger, I think, than Magic Square. Not 100% sure. But this is going to be a, a full set eventually. They're going to make all of them theoretically and out of the gate. I think I'm going to get a set to just see how these are. More on these guys in the Legends segment. So Alien Attack Toys has announced the AAT-07 Dungeon. This figure is the most humanoid transforming figure that I've ever seen. Uh, I believe this thing transforms really interesting really complex I, i'm not 100 percent sure everything going on with this but it is very intriguing here's the back of this figure and looking at the back you can tell all of the stuff that moves around and changes and uh transforms theoretically if it does transform and it transforms into this that would be absolutely awesome i i does it really transform into this i don't believe it i really don't i don't believe that can turn into that i just don't think that could happen maybe i'm missing something on this right here since he obviously does not turn into that car what does he transform into so mmc has come out with their reformatted line optus Knox, and it's a black version of the company's very popular and super articulated optus pexis but you know that's not all it includes accessories like a cloth goods cave alternative head with a shattered Face plate and a sword with the matrix in the hilts. This figure does look good. 
and repainted it looks great also so i think a lot of people are going to want multiple versions of this figure and i've heard reviewers that pick this up say they think this will be their figure of the year this figure has a great alt mode looks um uh, like right on par with what it should look like and mmc usually makes a great figure so i kind of believe what everyone's saying all the hype around this figure and now it's going to be in a repaint so Takara has put out some more pictures of their Nightbird, and this is just more or less to promote that it's coming and it looks pretty good and kind of what they got going on with it. So it looks great. It will be a decent use for this mold. I have, I believe that. And so with that, there's a lot of articulation in the figure. I don't think they really made any real improvements. It's more of like some slight modifications, some different paint apps. But overall, if you passed on the RC, you might have fun with this one. So it looks like X Transbots is working their tail off to try to make up some ground here. I'm really believing that anybody who ordered a cup will get a new cup. That's all there is to it. So with that, when I have official word and I officially get mine, I will share it with you. But it sounds like uh, X Transbots is really backpedaling on a lot of things they did trying to make up some ground especially with kind of the new price point all of the figures they're putting out and if they really come through and let everybody who had the first defunct version cup get a good cup well that will be great and that'll work wonders for their pr i know if i get a better cup i'm gonna be so happy i'll, I'll have less negative things to say about x transbots and i only want to say positive things about x transbots because i'm one of their biggest fans so getting into this minosaur here which is another uh issue that we saw earlier this year this thing is the youth version and i gotta hand it to to deluxe baldwin he really did come out and and show something i missed i missed that you get all of the accessory pack with the youth version and the g2 version so yes all this is included with the trailer like we originally thought for the more or less the same price i mean i think it's nine bucks more than what i paid for the original trailer with no accessories and you had to buy the accessory pack separate and everybody clearanced out the accessory pack now it's included you get all this whether you like it or not want it or not but it's what we originally expected in x transbots is again like i said backtracking and making up some ground so fans always put out some pictures of their MB14 figure. This is going to be their, which one is this? The Headmaster Junior Cab Hose Head. The thing about this is that this one is going to be a little bit more expensive than we've been seeing the Headmaster Juniors at about 90 bucks. But I want to say this is way different than what they've been putting out with the other Headmaster Juniors. They seem to be kind of rehashes of each other. This one is a different mold going in a different direction, a little bit bigger and beefier. But I have a lot more to say about this in the video I was going to make Friday. And I made a different video Friday. But next Friday, I've got a lot to say about this. The alt mode looks good. And really thinking about this, it's exciting to get these Headmaster Juniors. Because I don't think any other company is ever going to make them. So that's a good thing. And that kind of goes in line with what uh, comments I have for this company down the road. But it's pushing the $90 price point, which is an obscure figure obscure character and getting kind of closer to the x trans bonds point i don't think these have much or any die cast much or any paint there's some stuff to it but there's a bigger discussion to be had so we got some pictures provided by jucka khan here jucka khan 7 jucka khan jucka khan and this is <laughs> come on guys come on you gotta make it look better than this but this is takara's alleged cliff jumper that's coming out and no blue windshield and uh that's the biggest problem that i'm looking at here come on you're not going to compete with fans toys if you put pictures out looking like this i mean i hope by the time they have the official that they at least align everything just right but go back to the drawing board maybe fix it a little bit before it's put out i do not want this to show up in this form. I root for Takara because they are masterpiece, but I don't know. It's obviously mistransformed. I have messed around with, I did two 
two of their bumblebees. And I, I, I believe I have two videos because I got a KO, which not it's not really a KO. And the whole KO market isn't 100% KO, by the way. These are official figures that were sold with some slight defects for the KO. But maybe we'll wait for the slight defect KO on this version. But that's all paint. Look at all that. That's all paint. You know what's under there is green plastic. So you got, you got this little gun that comes out here. I don't remember exactly what happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I should know. But does this come out and shoot some oil or something? A slick, oil slick or something? And then it converts into its, you know, normal thing there. So I'm excited for the fact that we get a cliff jumper and masterpiece scale. That's going to be better. In my mind, it'll be better than what we've got. But Fantasy Toys is going to crush this. Just crush this. x Transbots could crush this, I believe. So, Super 7 had a live stream with, well, I guess it was a Foosh that they live streamed with, but this Ultimates line, I wrote it off like it's kind of a, a waste, although I think Trax looks okay, Megatron is, he is sort of cartoony, and the Grimlock looks okay in a way. There's some good and some bad to this. $55 a figure. I don't really know scale. I'd like to see how these measure up in maybe a masterpiece display, display, how they measure up in your mainline display, where do they fit in, how do they measure up next to your red figures. 55 bucks a piece, I was off put at first, but you know, I might be in on these because they don't look as bad as I thought. In fact, this is one of those cases that the real world product looks better than the renders. So I want to talk about this Fast Pioneer Deformed Auto Man Legends scale figure. This is probably a changing point more or less for me. I was out on Minasaur because of the price. Now, I think I'm okay with spending like 36, 37 bucks on two figures and then another 36 or 37 bucks on two more figures. But if the main one is still a stupid price, like 130, then I'm out. I'm out. Like I would be in on this. They're just a little bit bigger. I don't think these will be quite big enough to scale with your combiner wars, which is what a lot of people want for a Minasaur, for a Legends Minasaur to be upscaled to fit with your combiner wars, because combiner wars Minasaur is garbage. But if this is as big as I might think it is then it could it could almost be there but not quite so here they are in the bot mode and magic square is my favorite uh legends company i i know new age presents better because they have a little bit better uh paint apps and uh, materials are a little bit better but the design is more of my taste for magic square so there's really no wrong decision if you go with new age or if you go with Magic Square, but Magic Square really kills it for me. And McFans Toys usually is the one, maybe this is part of McFans Toys, usually K oversized stuff. So, but this new company is doing it. Here's the all modes, and I gotta say, I've heard nothing but great things about Magic Square versions. So, I imagine these are the same exact things slightly oversized versions of Magic Square and slightly cheaper. Well, like 30% cheaper. So, getting into mainline news, we got some Tron news. Tron news in the form of Galva Tron. Does he not look like he's from the Tron universe with the, the white panel lining and the, what's going on? And I'm looking at it, I'm thinking it might be transparent in a way. Some of the parts might be transparent, maybe not. I really was kind of hoping this would be transparent. But, this is one of those things that really should not have been revealed. Or is this how Hasbro reveals their stuff this day in age? Couple of points on this. First of all, it looks good. Second off, I think they got the shoulders right on this one. Third off, you come with a, a ton of micro figures to really recreate a scene. And it's for the same price point as the regular Galvatron. The thing about it is that we all know the regular Galvatron is going to sell well. This one has to have a little bit more, a little bit something special to sell as well as the regular one. Speaking of some really bad pictures to display, 
the first time the world sees your product. We got this. They call this Puffer. It's a Pipes Redeco. So, looking at this thing here, it's not transformed right, and it's not a good way to represent the product, but it, you get to see the colors, you get to see what's different and how it's going in the direction. I really think that Hasbro's doing a great job, well, Takara, technically, is doing a great job with this line. They look good, they look great, and getting all the different color variations, you know, they gotta milk the mold one way or another, but I think we actually like getting all these color variations. All right, so getting on to the first of the HasLab topics I'm gonna talk about today, the Autobot Star Saber from HasLab is a project that's underway right now. I'm gonna talk about this a bit. The thing about this is that I was on board 100% with the Cell Barge, 100% with Unicron, and 100% with well it reluctantly a hundred percent with the razor crest and then they blew it up but looking at this there are a couple of good things about this figure and some some issues now i like that you get the victory saber you get star saber you get victory leo and I, a real good friend of mine educated me on this like a decade ago and told me why it was such a big deal and now I understand. And now whenever I hear Star Saber, I want to, oh, where's Victory Leo? And they are kind of retconning the masterpiece that didn't give it to us. You got to get the Victory Leo from KFC if you wanted your masterpiece to be more or less a complete figure. And so here we go with it. And it looks pretty good. But it does have a few issues. You see the waffling on the inside of the legs. You see this is really a chug figure. It's a mainline figure to buy at Walmart or Target or, you know, order off of some of these other sites. So it's kind of one of those things that it's a question mark. Here it is all combined in its alt mode and it, it just looks like it should. It looks like I expect. It looks like what you'd expect the masterpiece to look like and all that good stuff. And then here it is combined into the victory saber itself with the victory leo as the feet and the other parts and stuff like that but it's not perfect it's not the best thing they've ever made and they could do better so this is haslab haslab should be dream projects is this truly a dream project so there's a lot of things to talk about when you talk about this and since i probably won't make a separate video talking about it i'm going to take a little more time than i really want to but it's 180 bucks, and the crowdfunding is from August 27th, which is technically when you watched this two days ago, till October 10th. They will get funded, and I, I'm gonna go out and say guaranteed to be funded, even though I think the U.S. market isn't gonna be ordering this like they would with some other projects. And the, I, I might make another video just saying the other projects I would have liked to have seen. I don't think this is a bad figure. I think it's a good figure. I think that it looks good. I think that it does what I would want. I would want the fact that you can do the combining factor and get the Victory Leo, and that's great. But to have this at the 180 price point and to still have it as pretty much chug figure, pretty much it's a commander class. It's an $80 commander class with a little bit more of a gimmicky stuff to it to maybe be worth 100 bucks. Now they're asking 180. Now, if you put this out, at Walmart and Target at 80 bucks, it wouldn't sell well. But if you make it exclusive to only those who order it now and you pay another hundred dollars, then it's gonna sell well because it's the exclusivity factor. So to put it in perspective, the Brain Master is smaller than a Titan Master, meaning that this thing, in my mind, it's not even really in scale with Chug. It should be bigger to even be a chug, to be a mainline, to be a commander class. So that's kind of off-putting to me. So you're ba basically getting a leader class figure, a Voyager class figure, and some more gimmickry. But those who love Star Saber are gonna absolutely love this. And then they're gonna buy the third-party kits to fill in all the gaps, including the forearms. So I don't hate this. I think it's great. I, mean, I think it's great. I mean, if I saw this for 80 bucks at Walmart, I'd buy it. I am not backing it myself, 
but I know a lot of people will, and I know for a fact it will be back, and I know exactly why. But uh, maybe I'll make another video about that if everybody wants to hear about it. So the Hasbro Pulse channel on YouTube actually is airing the first 11 episodes of the original G1 Transformers. If by some strange stretch of the imagination you like G1 Transformers, you might want to watch it there. So that's good. This is different than what they do with G.I. Joe, which G.I. Joe was a random lot of episodes aired live and repeatedly re-aired live, which is some strange way of doing it. This is the original episodes just put up. So you can watch them start to finish each episode one at a time and not try to figure out where you were in the whole season. I think that's good. I think it's great. And guess what? I think G.I. Joe airing the G.I. Joe show knocked off the entire G.I. Joe Classified, G.I. Joe Retro. It was purely stimulated by those. This might do the same for Transformers. I said knocked off. It's more like kicked off. Anyway, so I'm going to talk real quick about TFCon Baltimore. It's October 22nd to 24th. They're going to have special guest Casey Kohler. Here, he was the comic artist on all this stuff. The thing about this is, I am hearing a lot of people that are thinking that TFCon will get canceled again. Why? Because, well, it got canceled before. Uh, all these TFCons keep getting canceled. I do not think it's getting canceled. I think it's going on no matter what. I think we're going to march through this. It's going to happen. We're going to have the third party panel. We're going to have a lot of stuff go on. We're going to see life move forward in the Transformers world at TFCon. I really look forward to well, what comes out of it because oh, I won't be there. That's a long distance away. So if you ordered the heavy artillery roadblock from Amazon, they asked you if you wanted to cancel it because they had trouble supplying demand, but this week they actually supplied that demand. In fact, they were trying to say this is going to take up to the 17th of September, but they all came in before September 1st. So it's, it's great. Check your mailboxes, check your shipping, check your credit cards for getting billed if you ordered this guy. So it should be coming in pretty soon, but it's still listed as out of stock and they don't have any excess stock. They are still struggling to meet the demand of the pre-orders that they put up, but this is the best version or the closest to the version one so far. And I haven't heard any new announcements. Maybe we'll get that in the next few weeks. I would actually love to hear G.I. Joe Classified's not dead. I'd love to hear Motu Classics isn't ended, but uh, I, I don't have proof of either of those yet. But I do have proof of this. We actually have this in stock at at a couple places, but I know Sure Thing Toys has it in stock right now. This is the Diamond Select clear version of the Tron figures. Now, Diamond Select made them with, I guess, Disney characters or something, and then they put them out at Walgreens for $17, and then now this SDCC exclusive set is up at basically online fan channel resources right now. It's sold out currently at BBTS, but Sure Thing Toys has it in stock, I think this is a good set. These figures are okay. These are not great figures. I have them already. I ordered the clear versions. They're not great figures. They're okay figures. But I think having them in clear is going to make a much better presentation on my shelf or yours if you buy them. They're like 80 bucks for the set of three. So I'm hearing reports that the Playmates uh, Vintage line or Retro line, I actually don't know what they call it. Do they call it Classics? Vintage, Retro, whatever. I mean, they're just jumping on board with what Hasbro's doing and what other companies are doing, what Mattel's doing with the Origins in a way. But asking my friends that are hardcore Turtles collectors why this van is such a big deal. The van's a big deal because the artwork is really close to the Vintage. Not exact, by the way. There are some major differences in this, but it's really close. And so they put this out like a decade ago at Toys R Us when Toys R Us was still a thing. And they put a big giant uh, bubble on it saying that new for this year or something like that. And so that took away from the classic look. This matches the classic look better, but nothing replaces the originals. 
So getting into some Star Wars news, there's actually real Star Wars news, but it's not real news, it's teaser news. That we're going to get the Black Series HasLab version of Rancor. Now, the thing about this is, how big will it be? They've already made some gigantic Rancor beasts, recolored them a few times in different paint apps and stuff. And there's a few different versions out there, so will this be way bigger and how much will it cost now i think that i think that hasbro just says well star wars collectors they'll pay three four hundred bucks for anything i don't think any level of a rancor is worth three or four hundred bucks it needs to be like 200 or less they'll probably push the limits at 250 but then again they have the the tier throw-ins and all that kind of stuff so this is something that I didn't even notice. I didn't see this. I didn't see articles about this. Now there's articles about it now. My son pointed it out. We were at Walmart and he pulled up a Slave One and he said, Dad, this isn't called Slave One. It's called Boba Fett Starship. I was like, no, no, no. It's called the Slave One. I have multiple boxed versions of this at home to prove to you it's called the Slave One. And he said, no, it's called Boba Fett Starship. So... I guess anything that says Slave 1 will quadruple in value over time because they changed the name of a ship. What's the Millennium Falcon? A Decade Falcon? So anyway, moving on to some other news. So we've got the Tamashi Nations revealing the SH Figuarts version of Boba Fett rearmored and the Dinjarin with Gogru. So let me know what you think about this week's weekly news and review. What did I miss? What great stuff's going on out there? I like to stay in the know. Like, subscribe, Tadirim Hanger. Out!